Yeah, so there's been some fantastic feedback. Uh, one of our clients, um, he's a site manager for one of our clients. His name's Jamie, and um, Jamie is he, he did the course, and Jamie's a, a site center manager, like a like a uh, in charge of you know probably 30, 40 people, and. Um, he typically would have been old school. We'd call him old, you know. Like he, he would have. He was firmly entrenched. If you, if you did the wrong thing, you know, what were you thinking? Um, I'm going to retrain you, and um, I'm going to write you up, and then you'll get a written warning. So he, he attended the the, the the hop course and, and got the hop training and, and did some learning teams. So we, we facilitated some learning teams with them, and then. Um, he tells me this story, and it was just—it was the best story I'd heard for uh, in this space. Um, so he had a forklift operator who um, was driving the forklift one morning and damaged uh, a fan or something in, in in the warehouse. And the supervisor comes in to to let Jamie know and says, "Oh, this has just happened." And Jamie's instant reaction is the vein starts popping on his forehead, and he starts to get angry in, internally. You know, he wasn't expressing it externally, going, oh, "What were they thinking? How hard is it to drive a forklift? Not again!" And then he counted to ten, and he just drew a deep, big, deep breath in and said, "Hang on, that's not how I want to respond." So he basically. Um, ask the supervisor to grab the forklift operator and meet him in like a neutral part of the of the plant of the of the worksite. And I think they met outside somewhere at a picnic table or, or, or a table outside. And he said to the forklift operator, "What happened? You know, just run me through what happened. What was going on in the morning? Like walk me through from when you started work, what was going on in the warehouse, and and trying to get a sense of the conditions that was happening." At the end of it, he still wasn't sure what was going on and what was happening. So he asked the forklift operator, he said, can you do me a favour? I'd like you to jump off the forklift for the afternoon. Now, it's not a punishment. I'm not punishing you. I'm happy with you to be on the forklift. But I need you to do me a job. I need you to do me a favour. I want you to spend the afternoon going around and looking at where we operate the forklifts, um, look for issues we've got, speak to the other forklift operators, speak to the other people that work in the yard, and, and find out what the issue, where it's working well, where it's not working well, and then come up with some solutions with those people. So the forklift operator went off, and that's what he did for the afternoon. Went around the yard, talking to other forklift operators, you know, going around, took some photos and all that sort of thing. At the end of the day, he comes back and knocks on Jamie's door and says, oh boss, you know, this is what I found. And gives him a list of the issues and some potential solutions. And um, <clears throat> Jamie said, thank you very much. I'll, I'll talk to the supervisors um, tomorrow morning and we'll get back to you what we're going to do. So in the next morning, Jamie gets the supervisors in, goes through it all with them and says, well, what do you like, they think? This has come from the floor. And the guy said, yeah, let's do all of that. So they actually used that as their investigation. So that went into their actual official management system as the investigation and the corrective actions. They put them in place. And it was simple things like a little bit of altering of the traffic management, uh, a new convex mirror in a place, um, and that was it, there wasn't too much to it, but it made it exponentially safer for the forklift operators. And the joy I get out of that story is how much more engaged is that forklift operator from this new approach? He's more likely to report an incident or an issue or a hazard, any, any of those messy conditions we talk about, more likely to report that. Morale would improve because in the past he would have been written up and retrained. The guy had been on a forklift for 12 years. Why does he need to learn how to use a forklift again? Um, and he would go then and spread that to the rest of his team and say, well, you know, we had this, we've got, a, and we've got a boss that listens. So we can go to them and, and talk to them about it. So, yeah, so that's, that's one of the stories from one of our clients and it just blew me away when he, when he shared that with us. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm.